Okay, so today we're gonna talk about some really fun new books that have come out in June and July of 2019. They're really fun, they're really sweet, and your kids will love them. Okay, so let's just get started. The first one I'm gonna show you is called Abner and Ian Get Right Side Up by Dave Eggers and the Arts by Laura Park. This one is so amazing. You guys are gonna love it. It is an interactive book. Um, so if your kids like to move a lot or don't really sit still through a whole book or get bored, this is a great way to keep them interactive because they actually talk directly to the kid. Um, they'd be like, okay, so we need the kid to say now in order for us to be able to turn the page. So the kid has to be like, now, and you can turn the page, find out what happens next. So that's the kind of thing it has. It's so funny and your kids will love it. Um, so here it says like, can you feel your tummy? So you gotta feel your tummy, that kind of stuff. So, so fun, your kids will love it. It's great and interactive. And it says Abner and Ian have a problem you have the solution, or at least they hope you do. So they need you to figure it out, okay? So that's our first book. And I will link all of these in the description so you guys can find them, okay? Now, the next one is also an interactive book. It's called Lenny the Lobster Can't Stay for Dinner. And it says, or can he? You decide. So this is one of those really great You Decide books. I don't know if you ever read when you were little, like those You Decide magazines where it's like, oh, if you would pick the right fork in the road, go to page 20. If you would pick the left fork, go to page 17. And then a different outcome will happen depending on what you picked. So that's kind of how this book works. So you can kind of see like, okay, this is the story. And then hold on, we got to do this. Um, or it might end, it might end badly. So that's the kind of fun stuff that this book is and you can read it multiple times and it's a different story every time. So highly recommend. I've never seen one of these like you decide picture books. So this is a whole new thing for me and I'm loving it. Oh, and this is by Finn Buckley with Michael Buckley and it's illustrated by Catherine Maurice. So that's Lenny the Lobster Can't Stay for Dinner. Now, this is a board book. I love board books. And this one is even greater because it's a lift the flat book. Now, I know that those are like not the greatest for kids who are at board book levels because they often get ripped. But these are felt flaps. So they're super durable, can get bent, can get pulled, can get, it, it can't rip. So wonderful. So this book is called Where's the Astronaut by Angela P. Arnheis. So it just kind of goes through different things in space. Um, and every page has a lift the flap. So that's so fun for kids. Um, love it. And then the last page, there's a the mirror. I won't pull it down. It'll blind you. Um, so that's Where's the Astronaut. Love this one. Another space book is called Nerdy Baby Space. This book is not just for babies, it's for toddlers, preschoolers too. But it just kind of goes through like really basic introduction to what is space and what is in space and how do we get to space and planets and stuff like that. And it's just like a really simple introduction. So it says like, do you love the moon? Earth sure does. They travel around space together. And it just kind of gives like simple facts about it that's really understandable and relatable for kids. So love this one. This one's by Emmy Kastner. That's space. Here we've got B is for baby by Ad Adenuk and illustrated by Angela Brooksbank. So this one has everything that starts with B. So... B is for bicycle, B is for bumpy, and it just has such beautiful, beautiful illustrations that you'll love. So that's B is for baby, great for introducing the letter B, practicing the letter B, or just for fun, just to read because it's really cute. 
Next, we've got Noni the Pony Rescues a Joey, and it's by Allison Lester, and she actually lives in the Australian countryside, which is where this book takes place. I love this book because Noni the Pony rescues a kangaroo Joey, and they go through all, they talk to a whole bunch of different animals who live on the Australian countryside. So they talk to them, and they figure, um, they figure out how to get Joey home just gave away the ending but they do figure out how to get them home but it's really fun because kids will get introduced to all these different animals that live in Australia so really fun Noni the Pony rescues a Joey I love this book might be because I love sharks but I just love how simple they introduce the concept so this is called Chomp a Shark Romp and it's by Michael Paul I love this book because it's technically nonfiction, but it is so simple and your kids will love it and it just goes like this it's just like some sharks are gentle and has a nice big picture of a shark and it labels it it's a whale shark so it just says one simple fact about a shark or a couple kinds of sharks shows the kids a great picture of it and labels it and all of a sudden they know what a whale shark is and they know that they're gentle just like that and they're gonna love these pictures love this one this one is a silly one. It's called Bruno the Standing Cat, and it's by Nadine Robert and Jean Julian. This one is so fun. If your kids love cats or animals, they're going to love it. It's about a boy who gets a cat in the cat stands, and it's about what they all do together and why it's so fun that the cat is standing. So there's that one. And then we've got Holy Squacamole, Little Red Hen Makes Guacamole. And it's retold by Susan Wood and illustrated by Laura Gonzalez. It says it's retold because I don't know if you know the book, The Little Red Hen. Um, so that is an original book. And your parents um, probably read it. You may have read The Little Red Hen book. So this one is about her making guacamole. It talks about the different ingredients and the, her different friends. Um, and they all eat the guacamole at the end. And at the end, it even has like the recipe for holy guacamole guacamole and then it says like the story of guacamole and it has a glossary and it's just really fun really great your kids will love it and then it's a great excuse to make some guacamole this one is wonderful of course everybody will love it because it's unicorns and this one is called unicorn day and the words are by diane murray and the pictures are by luke flowers and just i'm sorry there's a glare but Look at those fun illustrations. They're so cute. So Unicorn Day is actually in spring. So it's kind of a disappointment that this one came out in July, but I definitely will be using it next year. And it's just this beautiful book about Unicorn Day and how fun it is and how fun unicorns are. And it talks about how everyone can enjoy Unicorn Day, even if you're not technically a unicorn. Let's see if you can see. One of the, yeah, this page is really fun. You can just see everyone with their unicorn horns celebrating Unicorn Day. So this one's really cute. Sorry, the lighting keeps changing. I don't know why. This one is Bear Came Along. Let's see. It doesn't say who it's by. Oh, by Richard T. Morris. And it's illustrated by Louine Pham. So there's that one. This is a really fun book about friendship. Um... And it has a really surprise, really fun ending. So you can kind of see what happens. Well, I just gave it away. But there's the ending. Um, so it says, so many different animals living their separate lives, but they didn't know they were in it together until... I'll leave it at that. That's about friendship and it's really cute. Next, I have another unicorn book because yay, unicorns. So we have Unicorn is Maybe Not So Great After All by Bob Shea. Just look, it's just so fun. This one is about a unicorn who feels like he needs to be more exciting and more unicorny in order to be truly loved and liked by his friends and family. So that's this one. You'll find out at the end that it's really about being yourself and that's the most important thing so great message um really fun book and it's about unicorns so win 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 okay this one is called dogs and their people by ann lambelet 
I love it. So if you've ever seen the animated version of 101 Dalmatians, the Disney version, at the beginning you see all the dog and human pairs and you can just tell that they go together like by how they look or by what they're doing or things like that. And this is what this book kind of reminds me of. Um, it's about a girl who's walking through a town and she's seeing all these people with their with their dogs and how they just really, really match, whether by how they look or their likes and stuff like that. Um, and it's really fun and really sweet. And it just talks about how dogs and people are best friends. And then at the end, the little girl goes home and you'll see what surprise waits for her there. So that's Dogs and People by Anne Lambelet. Now, last but not least is one of my very favorites. Todd Parr has another book. If you've ever seen any of Todd Parr's books, you can tell because they all have the similar look and feel, same illustrations, that type of thing. So this is Todd Parr's book. And it looks like this inside. So it's just super simple text, super simple pictures, great colors. And this book is wonderful because in simple text, it says these are the things that we worry about. You might worry about the dark or the rain or being alone, that kind of stuff. And then it talks about things at the end, things that we can do to help us not worry about those things or to feel better after we're worrying about those things. So it's wonderful for any child. It's great for that social and emotional readiness. Okay, so that is my stack of wonderful new books for June and July, 2019. Thanks for sticking with me. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you wanna get notified every time I post a video, you can click that button too. And if you want, go ahead and share this video with anyone else who's looking for some great new books. I got all of these at my library, so I'm sure you can too. And if they don't have it, just go ahead and request the librarian to get it. So don't forget to check out all the links to the books so you can find them and find their authors. And that's in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.